What's up guys, I'm CJ, welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with another empties slash declutter video. Now I know I'm switching things up, I'm really shaking up the game, adding the declutter portion, but I was like going through my stuff, looking at things that I have, want to get rid of, and it was just like, oh my god, too much stuff, a lot of things that I'm not using, so I'm like, let's do... Let's do a little combo video here. Let's do an empties because I do have some products. And then I have a bunch of things that I either are old, I'm just not using, I need to get rid of, or I need to pass on to somebody else. So we have a little bit of a combination video. So do know that I did not go through this many products just in the last month or however long it's been. Some of these products I'm just I'm letting loose into the wild to go be with their family so they can fly away. So if you like these videos, if you like my empties, if you're curious what I'm just getting rid of, then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, I link all of my socials, interesting videos, funny commentary, interesting little tidbits down in the description bar. So make sure you check that out. Anyways, let's get the giant Sephora size trash bag and let's get tracking. All right, so the first thing that I have, let's just start start from the top, I guess. So the first thing I have sitting right on top is the Pharmacy Green Screen. This is their Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. You get 1.7 ounces, and I want to say this is around $34. And I actually really, really like this product. I think it's a really nice natural sunscreen. It absorbs or rubs into the skin pretty nicely. Of course, you do get a little bit of, I don't even think it's a cast, but you get a little bit of like a a brightening or a slight pinkish look to the skin as you rub it in. I do find that it dissipates quite quickly, so even though I am pale as paper, I don't see a cast. And I do think that I've seen some reviews from people with darker skin tones that they say that they've gotten on of this totally fine. So this gives you UVA and UVB protection and uses both titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which I really, really like. It did not sting my eyes, it sat really well throughout the day, and I think this is a very nice product. Now the next product I have, I actually finished up a while ago and it's just been sitting on my counter, so go figure. That's the Osmosis Harmonized Water Skin Perfecting Daily Supplement. So this is the little harmonized water that you see on Brianna Stanko's channel quite often. Every morning and night you go, uh, 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 five little squirts under your tongue and it's supposed to use this water that has scalar waves imprinted on it and it's supposed to help do whatever that specific uh, harmonized water is meant to do. This one, of course, was for skin perfecting, so it's supposed to help clear blemishes, rosacea, balance skin inflammation, eczema, psoriasis, etc. I don't know if I saw any type of change in my skin. Of course, note that this is just basically a month supply or 20, 20, 28 day supply, so this isn't really enough to really change my skin. I probably would need to go through I don't know, six of these to really see it, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm convinced. The more I think about it, the more I read about it, I don't know if I believe it or if it's kind of like a, the gemstone situation. I might get a couple of these just to test it out further, but I'm on the fence. So two things that I'm decluttering, I talked about ages ago, and this company sent them to me, which I feel bad talking bad about them, but if it's a bad product, then I don't know what you want me to do. So this is from Nature Queen, and this is the Premium Herbal Shampoo and Conditioner. So, now it sounded really, really great. It sounded like they were going to be a kind of Asian herbal shampoo and conditioner set, and it's supposed to be great for damaged hair, which of course I have. But I looked through the ingredients. The ingredients really are not that natural or not that clean as it kind of sounded like it was going to be, and the products just straight up didn't do anything for my hair. The shampoo was extremely stripping to the hair, which I find that most shampoos have some level of strip to them, unfortunately. But the conditioner didn't make up for it. I could, I could get behind this if the shampoo sh just stripped my hair, but it did something decent. And then the conditioner came in and really helped things out. The problem is the conditioner didn't do enough. It didn't provide a nice enough hydration. Moisture didn't make it shinier, didn't make it smoother. It just didn't do anything. So for that reason, I stopped using it and I'm just gonna get rid of them because I think they're expired anyway. So, they're gonna be released into the wild. Next product I finished is the Pingangul Essence Toner. You guys know I really, really like this for quite some time, and then I kinda hit a mark where it stopped absorbing as well as it used to. I did when I started using it. I did like to do multiple layers, not necessarily a skip seven skin method, but I would like to do two to three, maybe four skins of it, and it worked really well. 
However, this stopped absorbing, and one that actually started absorbing really well and took the place of this one is the Claire's Supple Preparation Toner. I like this one a lot, and this one actually does for me what I was hoping this would do, and this one matches my shirt. So, sorry, Kim Gungil. I would recommend this one though. I think it's a very good price. It has very nice ingredients. And if you have any type of compromised dehydrated skin or dry skin, this one would be really nice with nice ingredients. Next product I have here is actually not the Sunitas pads. This was the Arcona, I wanna say the Arcona Triad pads. Uh, Trish, Green Beauty Trish, gave me a little sample. She gives me a bunch of products all the time, little trials or things she's not using, wants to pass on. We swap products back and forth. So these were the Arcona pads. They were very nice. I actually really, really like them, so I would look into getting those in the future. Arcona has a bunch of different pad and soaps, and a lot of really nice skincare, actually. I think Arcona is a really nice brand. Here's a product that I used once and have absolutely no interest in using any further. This is from Carboca, and it is the Charcoal Shaving Cream. Now, I had a bunch of issues with uh, Carboca. I actually kind of attacked them on Instagram and attacked the little person on Instagram that was running the ins uh, their social media, because they were making it very, like, manly and only men were using this and this is for men only for men which i understand a certain ethos and i'm not really describing it well it didn't rub me the right way and i actually talked to a few people about this so i used it and it is what it is the ingredients are not that great but there's a bunch of ingredients that actually break me out this was just unimpressive and it's not really a brand that i can get behind so for that reason i will just pass it on Two products from Cosrx that I always found to be really strange. This one is the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid, and this one is the AHA7 Whitehead Power Liquid. Now these are OG products that I've had for probably three years at this point in time. They are products that I got when I first started in Kate, into Kate Beauty, and to be totally honest, I just never was really sure how to use them in my skincare routine. I didn't think of them as toners, and I didn't really use them as an essence because I would have other essences, they could be used as a serum, but I didn't really like them as serums, so they just were this weird hybrid product. Um, they work well, they just, I never really, we never got each other. It's like the person that you want to get along with them, because you like their family, I love Coster X, but these two, we just didn't really, we didn't really get it. So these became body products, and I'm happy to see them go. I love Coster X products though, so don't take that the wrong way. Here's a product that I finally emptied. It's the Pixie Sun Mist with Chamomile and Bamboo Extracts. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sheer Sunscreen Mist. Now, I did not rely on this as my sunscreen. This was a nice reapplication. I would use it on my face. This uses both chemical sunscreen and titanium dioxide, so I did like that it had a mineral aspect to it as well. This lasted quite a long time, didn't leave a cast, and it padded in really nicely. And I think this is a nice, a nice touch-up uh, SPF mist that you can get from Target for not that much money. Here's another Osmosis product. This is the Osmosis Clear Plus Activating Hydration Mist. So this is their type of toner. It has the Scalar Wave infused water, but then it also has radish root ferment, it has some um, plankton extract, some hyaluronic acid, and some nice oil and hydrating ingredients. I really liked this. This is what you were supposed to use with your retinaldehyde, the ret vitamin A serum. With a lot of their serums, you're supposed to use this, spray it onto your face, and then massage their serums in because their liposomal technology needs to be activated and really massaged into the pores. Um, do I think that this is a exceptional product? Do I think that this helped with antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral properties? I don't really know as if it did that much, but it was a nice mist toner type product to use. So for that reason, was it worth $28? It did last for quite a long time, but I don't really know as if I would repurchase it at the moment. Here's a product that I used through that I am just going to, or I didn't use through. This is just a product that I'm going to give to somebody. It's the Purito Centella Green Level Recovery Cream. As you know, I did the Purito brand review. I thought that 90% of the products were extremely unimpressive and that this is one of them. I could potentially use it as a lotion, but I don't want it, so I'm just giving it to somebody else. Another Pirito product is the Snail Repair Advanced 91 Serum. Like I said, I thought that this brand was trying to be Costa Rex mixed with something else, but they were not as good as Costa Rex, so don't try to be them. Uh, the Snail 91 Serum, I compared it obviously to my favorite Advanced Snail 96 Power Essence. This was not even a iota similar to the Costa Rex, so for that reason, I didn't like it. It is gone though. 
Here we have a little Clinique 7 Day Scrub Rinse Off Cream. So this is a cream scrub. I got it from TJ Maxx, I believe. It's like a couple dollars for this little size thing. This was actually very nice. It wasn't stripping to the skin. It had a nice fine grit. It wasn't overly aggressive. I think that anybody could use this. And it would actually look into purchasing this in the future because it would just be a nice, gentle, hydrating scrub. That's not going to be like a salt or sugar scrub. It's a very nice scrub that I think all skin types get, could get along with. Now here's a product that I'm actually very sad to see go. This is the Neogen Dermatology Gauze Peeling Pad. This is the lemon one. So these are the little peel pads that have the kind of gauze things. One side is gauze and the other side is a smooth uh, surface. So these are the lemon ones and these are supposed to be brightening. I would get up in the morning and rather than washing my face, I would use one of these, go all over because these are rinse off. So it would go all over, exfoliate the face, allow the solution to sit on my face for a couple minutes, and then I would rinse off and go with my skincare routine. I really like these. These were very easy to use. They're not that expensive, and I think it's a really nice product. So Kristen got these for me, but I would look into getting them in the future. Um, I know a lot of people really like the wine ones, so I'd be interested in trying those ones out. Here's two products that I think are utter fuckery, and that is the Rhode Isle Stem Cell Superfood Cleanser. This is supposed to be a two-in-one cleanser and mask for dehydrated skin. However, my problem with Rhode Isle is there is so much fragrance in their products that it is almost, if not entirely, unbearable. Now, I did get the little kit at TJ Maxx, and I wanted to try them. I've tried one Rhode Isle product in the, in the past, but I wanted to try more. I looked through the ingredients. The ingredients are deplorable. Fragrance is too high up on the list, and these just don't do anything. So, these are like a little cream cream mask. It's one of those products that's trying to be too many things and it's not doing any of them well. As a mask, it's very unimpressive. As a cleanser, it doesn't do anything. So what does it do? Nothing in my book. So it's going to be released into the wild. Here we have the Glossier Body Hero Daily Oil Wash. This is something that I really, really like. This is an oil cleanser for the body. It emulsifies. It smells absolutely beautiful. It's just a really, really nice fragrance. It smells like neroli. I found that it cleansed the skin well. It emulsified beautifully. And I liked this because I didn't feel like I needed a, a lotion or anything afterward. And I really struggle using body lotions. So this was a nice product that gave me a little bit of everything without stripping or really drying the skin. And it felt really gentle, really nice, smelled beautiful, and I would repurchase this. Next we have the Peter Thomas Roth Blue Marine Algae Intense Hydrating Mask. Now this is probably one of my least favorite Peter, Tom Peter Thomas Roth masks. I prefer the Rose Stem Cell Mask over this one. This is fine, but I just found that it didn't do anything so much more exceptional than the other masks. I find that the black mud mask to be quite hydrating actually. And for a purely hydrating mask, I'm sure this is supposed to do something else, but for a purely hydrating mask, I think that the rose mask is the way to go. There are some other ingredients in here that are supposed to help with defend against aging or whatever. But this is just kind of like, it was the newest one and it's like the the baby that's new to the family when the parents are 50 years old, you know it was an accident and you know they're there, so you just don't really want to acknowledge them. That's how I feel about this one, it's just kind of like the other brother. The next product I have is the Amora Vixa Budapest. This is the Intensive Hydro Lifting Cream. This is the little sample that I got and used in my sample skincare routine. I actually really, really like this. However, I looked it up online and I think it's $240 to purchase the full size. I like this cream, but I don't like it that much. I will not be purchasing it. But here's a doozy of a product. This is the Nyad Voicemail Mask. As you know, I am no longer buying from Gussiem. This is a product that I used maybe three times. Didn't like it. It was supposed to be like, improve the communication between your cells. Um, you have to use it in a very simple skincare routine. I didn't like it enough to use it in a simple skincare routine and it just didn't really do much for the skin and I found it to be quite unimpressive. The Nyad products to me, the cream, magical jar products to me feel way too silicone-y anyways, so using it was not fun for me, it was not enjoyable, and it only lasts six months, so it's probably expired anyways. The other product that comes in the little thing, oh, I think I have three of them, go figure that one, is the Nyad Hydration Vaccine. I maybe used this once, it's incredibly silicone-y, really, really gross. I hate the feeling of it. Again, you're supposed to use this after serums. It's basically their cream, hydrating cream product. I don't like it. Super silicone -y feels really gross on my skin. I hated it. This is going to just go in the garbage because, again, I think that this is expired. 
Nail and Nyad product that I reluctantly liked is the Flavanone Mud. This is a red clay mud mask. It's supposed to go through multiple stages of purifying your skin. I actually really did like this. This is a mask that you're supposed to use a very thin layer of. It is quite strong in the tingling sensation. It is quite stimulating. And I really, really liked it. It lasted quite a long time, and I think it worked really well. Now, I will not be repurchasing it because, again, I'm not purchasing from Desium after Brandon Tro's whole little... Uh, madness on Instagram. I have yet to see an apology or anything for that, so I do not support the brand. We have another Ordinary product. Now this is the Marine Hyaluronics. I have a backup of this. I really like this. If you're looking for a thin hyaluronic acid and you had trouble with their original hyaluronic acid serum, I think you would really like this. This uses marine-derived hyaluronic acid type ingredients. It's very thin, quite watery, absorbs into the skin really well. I actually really do like it. However, after going through the backup, I will not be repurchasing it. The next one I'm really excited to see go is the Josh Rosebrook Complete Moisture Cleanse. This is a very nice non-foaming cleanser. One of the first ingredients is aloe vera gel, water, African black soap, and then honey. So this is a very moisturizing, as the name would say, a very moisturizing, extremely gentle cleanse. It comes out, kind of looks like snot, but it's very nice on the skin, provides a nice cleanse, a very nice sensorial experience, and I think that this is well worth the money. I really do enjoy this product and I am quite sad to see it go. Made a great cleanse in the morning, made a very nice hydrating cleanse at night for a second cleanse. I think I would recommend that to any and all skin types. Of course, it wouldn't be an empties without my Andalou Naturals Thousand Roses Floral Toner. I love this. This is probably bottle 5000 and I don't need to talk about it. Also in the same regard as the Andalou Naturals Toner, we have the Schmitz Bergamot and Lime Natural Deodorant. These are what I get from TJ Maxx or Marshalls any and every time that I go. It's the cheapest way to get it. It's exceptionally expensive at Whole Foods or other grocery stores. Get it on discount, you should not pay seven, eight, nine dollars for it. Another product I absolutely love and I'm so sad to see empty is the Fresh Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask. You know that I have issues with Fresh most of the time, however, I think that this is a standout product and I'm starting to see that this is kind of an exceptional line. I have used through the most of the moisturizer. I really like it. It was in a favorites and fuck it's. This is a great, great, great product. I'd like to try the mask. I have the eye cream and I would like to try more of the serum, but I do say that this is probably one of the absolute best fresh products. If you want to get into fresh, if you want to try a good fresh product, which there are not many of, I would go with the overnight mask. Here's a product that I was so impressed by. This is the Good at Chemistry Silver Coast Cologne. So this is a natural cologne that I picked up in San Francisco from Target of all things. And I I want to say this is 20 or $25 for 1.7 fluid ounces. This is exceptional. It does not use any gross kind of toxic ingredients that you wouldn't really think about are in fragrances. It doesn't use any type of weird preservatives. It is a very clean, very, very clean fragrance brand. They make body sprays, colognes, perfumes, rollerballs, everything you could think of. This uses essential oils to fragrance the base, and they're really, really nice. This lasted such a long time, and for $20 or $25, I would repurchase this over and over again. In fact, I actually have a bottle of a different fragrance. This was the Silver Coast fragrance, and it was just a very, like, it just smells like a very nice beach. It's like being on the beach or being in a, in a spa, and there's a flower next to you. So you get a little bit of that floral essence with a very clean, beachy smell. I really like it. I would look into purchasing this again. I highly recommend the Good Chemistry Fragrances for a nice, affordable option. Next, we have the Jordan Samuel Hydrate Facial Serum. Uh, Trish let me use this, actually, because I had been talking about wanting to try it. It's a very nice serum. It does have a vitamin C derivative in it, so it's going to plump the skin and give you a little bit of that vitamin C effect. And it also has aloe, vegetable glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and then some cucumber fruit extract. So this is a very, very nice serum. I would recommend this. A lot of people really, really love it. I'm sure you've seen it before, and I understand why. A couple more products, guys. We're almost done. Here's the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Firming Serum. So this was the little sample. Like I said, when I use this, I didn't use it frequently enough, so I don't know what the effects are. Even though this is a fairly good-sized sample, I would use it, like, the 1st of May and then like the 20th of May, and then the 1st of June. So I went through it, but I didn't use it consistently, so I didn't really see any results, and that was my fault. So I would like to try that, uh, the full size, and just really like commit to it. Next we have the Complex Beauty Pout Protector Vanilla Lip Mask. I did not like this. This felt super weird on the lips, didn't absorb, didn't protect, didn't really do anything for like hydrating or moisturizing the lips. I would not recommend. And then we have the Herbivore this is like a colored lip balm. So I thought this was just a regular lip balm when I purchased it like two years ago, but as you will see, 
it is, it's got a color to it, which is fine, I don't care, but it doesn't really moisturize my lips, so then it's just like a weird lipstick, not lipstick. It was a weird product, I didn't like it, it didn't really work for me, for what I was looking for, so for that reason I would not recommend or repurchase. And that is it you guys, we made it to the very end. I hope you enjoyed seeing the products that I've gone through, products that I just didn't want to go through. Let me know what products you're decluttering, if there's anything in here that you like or want to know more about, of course, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day guys, bye.